<laughs> oh my god, stop it! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, so it's <clears throat> maybe 5.50. We're out running again. Nice morning. Actually feeling all right. Mentally, been resisting running. Probably since the 35 miler. I think every time I run, I end up not being well. So I think my mind's almost resisting it. Maybe it's my unconscious mind telling me to rest. I don't know. We're running anyway. Got a 50 miler in like 10 days. Can't believe it's 10 days. Fucking hell. I can't really say I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> it's about seven miles in. Feeling pretty good actually now. Warmed up a little bit. Uh, calf is lo uh, loosening up a little. My chin is fucking frozen again. I've got to make sure I check the settings on the uh, clippers next time. That's why I went completely clean sha shaven. Because I, uh, it was on so <laughs> such a short gradient. So all washed and showered up. Um, did just under 10 miles and didn't it, like about 10, I think it was about 10 to average pace of 10, 20 which is fine, the run's done. Um, next run will be Sunday, and then we'll probably do another run on Wednesday. Um, and then lots and lots of mobility and stretching this week leading up to the 50. So we're just gonna hit breakfast, and then we've got a huge day in the office, big, big, busy day. We've got fucking two days worth of work to do today. I've planned it down to the T. Just gonna stay focused, hopefully not get any more curveballs. Um, and then looking forward to spending some quality time with family. And um, and then with the boy tomorrow playing golf. So it's 11 o'clock, forcing myself out of the office for a coffee and a cake. Definitely going to have a cake. And then coming back for phase two, we're kind of where we want to be, which is good. Making good progress. So I really feel like I'm finding a decent flow with work. Um, I've been testing lots of different ways of structuring the day. But what I've got going on really feels very easy and stress-free and it really make, does make life a lot different when you get into that flow state i think when it comes to your daily structure of work it's always important to try and figure out where the distractions are so for me if you get the wrong task at the wrong point of the day you start thinking about those other tasks and you end up coming off that single track mind to then trying to do multitasks and you become distracted. So the key has always been uh, to focus on the jobs that I keep thinking about most. So if I'm doing the way that I have been working, I'll be doing them thinking, oh God, I've got this to do, I've got that to do. Whereas I focused and think about the things and the jobs that I just want to get out of the way. The ones that often cause me the most distraction mentally and emotionally because I'm thinking about them. I'm thinking I've got to do them. This is what I've got to do. So those jobs I end up making my priority and they do move the business business forwards. But it's really just about testing and adjusting and kind of feeling what needs to be done and, and trying to avoid the distractions as much as possible. I'm not even sure if any of that made sense. <laughs> So we've absolutely smashed today, super productive, two days worth of work in one, lunchtime, a little bit of masters in the background, doing some planning, doing a little bit of extra work, um, got about another hour and a half in the office. Not too fast, watch it, watch it. like a spring step. There you go, that's better. Dong. All right, so it's uh, half six. Boy one side. Oh. Go the other. We've got no internet till Saturday. Oh, that's disgusting. Our internet box is gone because who broke the internet? Me. Yeah. I think it was going anyway. Um, so we're going to live like medieval for a day and a half. 
Just means I can't do any work from home, doesn't it? Last week. Yeah, and, and I have to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. <laughs> <Here you come. laughs>